coolest options. Our story begins on the island of Themyscira. During this early age of the Amazons, controversy soon arose from Queen Hippolyta's leadership. A new tribe had emerged that sought a new direction. These Amazons were known as the Banner. They were led by Antiope, who was the sister of the Queen. Antiope believed that there was still more to be done in the world of man, and that the Amazons should not be bound to live in secrecy. Antiope and her people decided to leave the island of Themyscira, and she led them into the Middle East. Along their difficult journey, they sought mercy and sanctuary from the Egyptian gods. Soon after, they found a location in Egypt where they would build a new sacred city known as Banner Middle. The Banner tribe renounced their faith in the Olympian gods and instead worshipped the Egyptian goddesses. Goddesses blessed the Amazons with a protective spell to keep their people and land safe. A perpetual sandstorm was formed around their city to provide them with secrecy. The banner kept their fierce warrior culture strong and remained at the heart of their society. And like the Amazons of Themyscira, the banner welcomed men into their homeland. The banner traded their fighting skills and weapons in return for male slaves to increase their population. Years later, a young warrior was born, she was named Artemis. During her childhood, Artemis was constantly trained in combat. She spent most of her time with Aguila, who was her best friend. The two of them spent every day honing their fighting skills, and became very close with each other. Achilla was not only a great fighter, but she also held the divine title of Shimta. The Shimta was considered the warrior of the gods, and the title was chosen through a brutal rite of combat. Achilla would always tell Artemis how she disliked the pressure of this title, and wished to run away one day. One night, Artemis is walking through the sacred chambers and is captivated by something. She sees the mystical bow of Ra, which was a legendary weapon crafted by the gods with immense power. As Artemis attempts to pick up the weapon, she is thrown to the ground. She is met by the goddess Nephitis, and warns Artemis that she is not ready to wield such a powerful weapon. She also says that most warriors forget that a powerful weapon chooses who wields it, not the other way.
One day, Artemis notices that her best friend had disappeared without notice. She spent weeks looking for her friend and eventually, she is teleported back to their homeland. Aguila was summoned by the gods to do their bidding, and this began to change her. The two friends rarely saw each other anymore, and Artemis fled into the desert for solitude. One night, Artemis sees her home is in flames and rushes to investigate. She then discovers that Banner Midall had been destroyed by an enemy's attack. A killer is then found with the mystical bow of Ra, and begins to blame Artemis for her absence in the battle. Although their conversation is cut short by Wonder Woman. Diana confronts a killer with the death of thousands by her hands. In a killer's attempt to save her people, she used a weapon that was not destined for her, which nearly obliterated everything in sight. Artemis refuses to believe this, so she begins to attack Wonder Woman. They are soon interrupted by Aguila, who appears to be possessed by the power of the weapon. As Aguila aims the bow at both of them, Artemis is forced to kill her best friend. The death of her closest friend began to shape Artemis into a more brutal warrior than ever before. Artemis was left heartbroken and in search of a purpose. With her training as a warrior and deadly skills, Artemis turns to the life of a mercenary. Along her path, she discovered an enchanted weapon, she felt a connection to this axe and claimed it for herself. This weapon was incredibly deadly and was capable of deflecting bullets and delivering ground-breaking attacks. Although since this was an enchanted weapon, this had an unexpected effect on Artemis. Whenever the axe is damaged she experiences this damage as physical pain. Artemis named this weapon Mistress and never left without it. Over the years, she would run into Wonder Woman many times. You know, Artemis, I found myself saying a little prayer for you last night. Did you, Diana? How kind. Yes, I prayed that Apollo would inspire you with a strategy that might end your rather long string of defeats at my hand. The two Amazons defeated many forces of evil together, 
although Artemis was always harsh and guarded towards Diana. Eventually, Wonder Woman convinced Artemis to give up her life as a mercenary. She also used her influence to clear Artemis of her crimes against the Council of Amazons, for her life as a mercenary. Even though they had a troubled past, the two Amazons would come to think of each other as family. But be kinder, Artemis. Believe it or not, there was a time when she was the fiercest warrior among us. Over many years, Artemis would join many heroic teams and now fought for truth and justice. Artemis now had the reputation of a fierce warrior around the world and is one of the most infamous members of the Banner tribe. Eventually, Artemis would discover that a killer was raised from the dead, although that is a story for another time. Possessing all the ancient abilities of an Amazon, along with her extremely deadly mistress at her side, Artemis is one of the most brutal Amazon warriors of all time. Please like this video and subscribe for more unknown comic origins. Brother Blood!